Hi everyone, my name is Haley and welcome to my channel. So today I thought that I would reorganize my bookshelf. I have a lot of books to store on here. I did a lot of damage these past few weeks. There are some books that I want to get rid of, so I just want to take everything off, see what I'm working with, see what I want to keep and see what I want to unhaul. Just to give a little bit of a sneak peek of what we're working with for this video, I have this, which is filled with books, and I have this, which is also filled with books. And you can't see it right now, but there's a stack of books on the floor next to me, and a box full of books that I had taken with me on vacation. So I have to put some ones that I already own back where they belong and find a home for some other ones. So I currently have this one bookshelf behind me and then I have two floating shelves on my wall above my bed. And then I have a basket <sighs> right here that I'm going to also fill with books if I need extra space. And there's also a drawer underneath my bed where I keep books that I either don't want on my shelf or I am going to keep them. I just have read them already and they don't need to be there. So that's the plan for today. I'm going to take everything off, dust everything, and find the rightful place for all of my books. Let's get started. This is what my bookshelf looks like right now. These are the two floating shelves above my bed. And this is the drawer under my bed. It goes pretty deep, so I'm definitely going to utilize the storage that this gives me. pajama pants for this. Okay, so first things first with this group of books, I want to go through them and see what I want to move or put under my bed or in this basket that I have. So 
I'm just gonna sort through them and make some separate piles. So I've made some progress on going through some of my new books and books that I already had to decide what I'm going to keep on my shelf. So I'm going to start by putting some of my books back. shelf is my shadow hunters shelf so i have the dark artifices the last hours the bane chronicles the original mortal instrument series tucked behind here the infernal devices tucked behind here um an illustrated history of notable shadow hunters and denizens of downworld and then my special edition city of bones and clockwork angel i have Ghosts of the Shadow Market and Tales from the Shadowhunter Academy and the Shadowhunters Codex, but that's either going to go in my basket or under my bed because they're not part of the main series, they're big books, they take up a lot of space. So until I can get another bookshelf, they are going to be kicked off. <laughs> sweaty right now but I just finished the second shelf. I'm not exactly sure how I'm wanting to organize. I think I'm just going by genre and series so for the beginning of the second shelf it's romance and then fantasy romance and uncompleted series that I have. Um, romance, fantasy, and then I just needed to stick something in here, so I put Ready Player One. I also just added Loki because there was more space. Next on the third shelf, I think I'll be putting my series. Let's see if they fit. <laughs> Okay, this is my third shelf all done. I have the Scythe series, I have The Lord of the Rings, The Hobbit, and the first two books of Dune, and the fifth season trilogy. And then I have my Mistborn trilogy, Skyward and Star Sight. And then I needed to put some things, so I just stuck with the fantasy element, sci-fi element. Did the Midnight Library and Cloud Atlas. I think next what I'm going to do is the rest of the series that I have, some standalones that are maybe literary fiction or don't fall in the fantasy genre, so yeah, let's get into it. <laughs> This is my fourth shelf. It's kind of random, but I have series, series, two Junji Ito books, standalones uh, that are some classics, some literary fiction, and then House of Leaves, which I think is a horror book that I haven't gotten around to yet, but I really love the colors going on on this shelf. And this is what the final shelf looks like. I have some more classics. This is a graphic novel and then some manga and like very tiny books. Um, classic. A couple other works of fiction. Um, and then more manga, two Captain America graphic novels, and 
five Winter Soldier comics. And then these are the rest of my books that I am going to be putting in a different area. These are the books that I'm putting under my bed so far. We have Outlander, two Agatha Christie's, very old book, the Shadow and Bone trilogy as well as Six of Crows, and a couple other random books. Okay, we have finally reached these two shelves. I have some things that I want to get rid of and just some general reorganization that I want to do. Let's see what I'm going to get rid of. These are the books that I think I'm going to be getting rid of. We have Obsidio, Illumine, Aurora Rising, and Ever the Hunted. I am also unhauling the Diabolic, So Like Ashes, and The Empress. <laughs> going to finish putting up my little Marvel ornaments and my Funko Pops and everything onto my shelves and I will show you the finished product when I'm done. enjoyed this video. I have been meaning to redo my bookshelves and I thought it would be really fun to do it with you guys. So thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this, please give it a thumbs up. Tell me if you saw your favorite book or if there's a book you want to see on my shelf, maybe I'll pick it up. And also let me know what kinds of videos you guys would like to see. I have a few in mind that I have to get started on. I'm just waiting for my finals to be over. I hope you're all staying safe. I hope you're all reading lovely books, and I hope to see you when I post my next video. Bye!